Hi, what's up? Today I'm going to show you a Mass No Rock Classic from the 80s, photographed by Def Leppard. Tune your guitar to E flat and let's start. Okay, so I'm tuned to E flat. If you want to play with the backing track and sound like the original recording, you should uh, tune your guitar somewhere in the middle between E and E flat. Okay, but for simplicity reasons, tune your guitar to E flat, like me. And let's begin. Our first chord is E5. My second finger goes to the ninth fret of the D string, and my third finger on the ninth fret of the G string. Okay, this is E5, and I'm playing three times. Now I'm lifting my third finger and I'm placing my first finger on the eighth fret of the G string. Okay, my second finger is still on the ninth fret of the, of the D string. And I'm playing, uh, this is B major and I'm playing two times. So it's like that. Okay, now I'm going to the third chord, the A5, my first finger on the seventh fret D string and my pinky on the ninth fret G string and I'm playing uh, two times. Now, I want to start from the open A string. So I'm playing the A string, D string, and G string. Okay, so I'm playing two times. Now, after that, I'm lifting my pinky, okay, and I want to bar my first finger on the seventh fret of the D and G string. And I'm playing from the open A string on this chord also. So, only one time. So it's like that. Now everything sounds like that. Now I'm playing one more time. Now I'm on the third round and uh, there is a little variation here. I want to play the E5 chord, the first chord, two times instead of three. So it sounds like that. Now I'm going to the B major. Second chord, and I'm playing three times. So it's on that. Now I'm going to the A5 chord here, our third chord, and I'm playing th um, two times, okay? And now I'm going to the last chord, I'm barring the seventh fret, and I'm playing three times. So the third round, it sounds like that. Now I'm playing one more time. Okay, so I have four rounds. Now let's play the from start. One, two, three, four. Okay, this is the verse, and similar to the intro, I'm playing uh, this riff for eight rounds, but there are two transitions I want to show you. So, I'm playing uh, four times this riff, 
two, three, four, and now at this point I want to go to A chord, okay? Uh, A string is open, my first finger on the second fret this ring, my second finger on the second fret G string, and my third finger on the second fret B string, and my high E open. So one time I want to play A chord, and then I want to add my pinky to the third fret of the B string, okay, here, and I'm playing A sus4. So one time A. So the fourth round sounds like that. All right, again. Now I'm playing this riff three more times, okay? And now I'm on the eighth round, and I want to play this. Excuse me. Okay, again. So let's see what I'm doing here. I'm on the E5 chord here, my first finger on the seventh fret, A string, and my pinky on the ninth fret, D string. Okay, regular power chord, E5. And I'm playing one time, then I'm going, I'm taking this shape to the second fret, okay? Uh, my first finger on the second fret, and I'm playing B5 two times, down up. So it's something like that. Again. Now I'm going to A5 chord, okay? My uh, a string is open, and my first finger is barring the second fret of the D string and G string. Okay, now I'm playing it uh, two times down up. So everything till now sounds like that. Okay, and now I'm going with my first finger uh, to the seventh fret of the D string, and my pinky to the ninth fret of the G string. I'm on the A5 chord here, and I'm playing down, up, up, down, up. I'm meeting all the other strings with my fingers, okay? Okay, so it sounds like that. Okay, so only the D and G strings can be heard. My second and third finger is muting the low E string and the A string, and the pinky and the first finger is muting the, the lower strings, the B and high E. Okay? So I can only hear the D and G strings. Okay, so. Okay, let's play everything uh, and we will continue. finger on the 3rd fret A string and my pinky on the 5th fret D string and I'm playing 3 times. Now I'm going to the next chord, Okay, my pinky is still on the 5th fret of the D string and my 1st finger is going a half step down the neck to the 2nd fret of the A string. This is the chord, this is a G slash B chord and I'm playing it 
three times. Okay, so it's something like that. Now I'm going to the D chord. Okay, uh, I guess you already know it. Okay, my D string is open. My first finger, second fret G string. My third finger, third fret B string. And my second finger here on the second fret high E string. Okay. And I'm playing it uh, for, uh, let's see. One time. Now, after the D chord, I'm going to the A5 chord. A string open, and I'm barring the second fret of the D and G string with my first finger, and I'm playing twice. So it's like that. Now, I'm going back to D one more time, and two more times on the A5. And next, I want the third finger to go to the third fret of the low E string. It's heavy rattle here, and then I'm going back to A5. So it's like that. Slowly. Okay, so. Now, my first finger is going up to the second fret of the A string and then back to the C5 chord, okay, the, like before, and I'm playing one more time. And I'm ending on the A5 chord. This is it. Let's move on.